What's up guys, it's your favorite triathlete and one hit wonder, Sam Laidlow. We're here with a new year, new me, um, but same old, we're gonna try and win the world championships. Um, yeah, it's January, we're not full fitness yet. Today I just finished a swim. Um, unfortunately we didn't film that because you were still sleeping. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna go for a run with the crew and uh, yeah, maybe we can uh, present the, the training group can present everybody individually. So there's Jake, Arthur Shenzino, and Richard Laidlow. Watch out. Jake, 15 years young, loves to impress his girlfriend at rugby and dreams of one day having a real moustache. Strengths, being Sam's brother. Weakness, being Sam's brother. Arthur, 31 years old, sixth at Ironman World Champs, prefers beer to vegetables, obsessed by space and black holes. Strengths, running, weakness, calves and cooking. Shenzino, 24 years old, former lactate connoisseur, waxes his whole body, likes to get angry for no reason. Strengths, 10 second max efforts. Weakness, none. Richard, 51 years old, ex-professional swimmer, is always right, only gets paid in cash and brightlings. Strengths, his wife. Weakness, butter. So the plan today is to do a LT2 session. Uh, so we're gonna do a small warm up. We're already pretty warmed up, so just come out of the pool. And then we're gonna do six times 2K LT2. Um, and then a, a cool down and um, yeah, that's it really. Throughout this video, you're also gonna find a lot of sneak peeks of the merch that's coming out. So this hat, it says, so good they think i'm cheating um yeah pretty cool merch coming you might see it on other people and stuff and we're going to try and drop it as soon as possible but we're making sure it's it's perfect here are my boys just come in now they look even more tired than me look at this look at this group it's going to beat the norwegian hype train magnificent boys <laughs> Hello everyone. Ah merde, en anglais. Oh non, c'est en anglais. Attends, pour moi, mais des fois, je confonds les deux, j'ai des mots qui viennent en anglais, trop relou, trop relou. Trop relou, trop relou. 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 Trop
c'était un peu dur après la natation. Là. La séance de natte n'était pas drôle. Et hier à pied, c'était pas drôle non plus. Ouais. Je rigole bien. Parce qu'il y en a qui lisent la vignette et il y en a qui lisent le titre. Et après dans la vignette on peut mettre Never Bank Again. Never. Parce que Bank c'est quand tu exploses en gros, t'as plus d'énergie. Tu sais. C'est ce qui arrive à, à Benoît quand il fait une hippo. Voilà. Tu fais des hippo oh. Benoît un peu Jamais. Genre, ah, je suis sûr que t'es en Jamais. <rire> ok, vidéo 4, 48 heures, oui, ça me l'est l'eau. Tenez mon équipe préférée. On a un délicieux plat que je n'ai pas préparé. Okay. J'ai fait le poulet parce que le poulet, c'est délicieux. Day two, I'm going for a three hour endurance ride, um, mostly zone two, probably aim for one, one between 120 and 130 heart rate. Um, yeah, pretty simple really. Um, there's three of us and the weather is okay. It's a bit cold, but All good, and we'll see you out there. Next up is a 26 kilometer run with mostly zone one to two on heart rate. Um, yeah, today is a longer, easier day. Yesterday we did some intensity. Um, and tomorrow we have an easy, more recovery day with so two easy sessions. And yeah, just received a load of new shoes. So we've been doing some big run mileage these next two weeks. So some new Mac 5s, these are my go-to shoe. I use pretty much only the Mac 5s for everything. Um, every so often I put the Cliftons on if it's a real easy run and, and my legs are smashed. Uh, but I, I generally feel like all my training partners actually now have I've converted them to the Mac 5s as well. Um, yeah, just a great all-round shoe. And uh, then we also got the new race shoes, the Cielo X1 which you can show them just there and uh, yeah haven't tried i'm not going to try them today uh, but they look really really cool and it, they took some time to get to me a bit, a bit longer than normal because um they don't do my size I'm a size 48 but they don't do my size until it's in full production so um yeah christoph worked his ass off to get them to me and he even sent me some Homemade honey, um, so yeah, goes to show that uh, the people at Hoka are truly great because they don't just send me shoes, they send me food. But back to training, yeah, uh, 26K 
135 heart rate probably. Um, yeah, every so often we do a minute walk just to, I don't know, hydrate, take a gel and make sure you rest a little bit to get your form on point for the next block. Um, yeah, that's it really. The My second garage is currently just one big uh, skip. I just throw everything in here. We have, look at all these boxes. Look how many boxes there are. That's really the best cookie in the history. Um, Shenzino's late and we're going to use this time to talk about my season uh, last season and next season um, and what's on the cards um, as I'm sure many of you know this year is a bit different there's more and more uh, money in the sport which is great uh, great for pros and yeah I think everybody started asking themselves if they should race on the Ironman circuit or the, the PTO circuit um, and yeah, hopefully I'll be able to announce this by the time the video comes out. But um, I've made a decision to race on the PTO circuit um, with the goal still being to, to go back to Kona and, uh, and win there. Um, that, that really is the, the dream. And uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a really exciting project. I feel I didn't get to show quite what I was capable of in Nice, even though obviously I won. But... I had a lot of uh, mishaps, let's say, leading up to it, and um, there was other periods in the year when I, when I know I was stronger and I know I'm capable of much better, and I believe that Hawaii suits me much better. So, um, yeah, an exciting time ahead, um, and yeah, I don't know what else to say really. Um, the PTO calendar looks like I won't be able to race all of them. Um, I'm just going to sit in front of my new house that will hopefully be built soon. Oh, well, we start it, starting the renovation. Um, but anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'll probably race, um, first of all, uh, PTO Miami, uh, which is on the 10th of March or around that date. Um, so pretty soon the season of this year starts really, really early, um, which is yeah, it's difficult. I think it suits maybe maybe some other athletes, people coming from a, the Southern Hemisphere or people that like keep a constant level all year long, like uh, like Magnus or, or Sam Long or these guys. So I think they'll be really strong on these first races. Um, for me, it's like it's not about winning these these initial PTOs. Um, it's about racing the best in the world, uh, seeing where you're at, and, and trying to work on on my flaws you know my heart uh, is and always will be on the Ironman distance and although the best seem to be racing more and more on the PTO um, I the overall goal is still for me to win Ironman world titles um, that being said I would love to win a PTO race um, and I think I am capable of it just maybe not this year um, but yeah I guess we'll have to wait and find out I'm certainly going to try um, yeah so then we go from Miami I'll go to PTO Singapore, which is uh, a month later. Um, then I haven't got that much racing. Uh, I have a big block to prepare for my Ironman. I need to do an Ironman to validate my, my entry to the World Champs. So I've chosen Ironman Vittoria. And yeah, so then I, after Singapore, I'll probably do a lot of testing, whether it's aero testing or lab testing uh, for, for Kona, but really to, to kind of prepare myself for Ironman Vittoria and make sure I have uh, a good performance there, um, get used to the Ironman distance because the demands are very different to the PTO and um, from there I'll go two weeks later uh, PTO London so that will be really interesting to see how, how I recover from an Ironman and if I can back it up because then later on in the season I also have to recover from Kona uh, to do the next two PTO races uh, which will be in the Middle East so yeah then after that PTO London I'll do two weeks uh sorry 10 weeks uh 10 weeks of uh full ironman prep um and that will be leading into kona i'll do that at home um I'm not going away on camp or anything so 10 weeks specific ironman prep uh and then i go to a pti ibiza just before going to kona which is exactly a month before kona so i'll be going to pti ibiza 
Um, obviously, I'll be fit, but my, my goal is really to perform over the Ironman distance. Um, and then from there, I'll go straight from Ibiza to Kona and I'll spend a month on the Big Island. Um, yeah, last time I spent three weeks there um, and I really enjoyed the training there. Um, yeah, just, yeah, it's, 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 it's a very special place and this year will be really exciting. <laughs> um, I saw uh, a post about me now having 25 chance of winning and actually being the favorite of the race, which is, which is crazy and it's also new for me. It's not a, how to say, it's not a role I've, I've excelled in in the past, being the favorite. Um, and probably by then I probably won't be the favorite, similar, similar to this year in Nice. Um, I tend to only perform once, once a year and that's the goal again, really. I don't really care about anything else, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. So then after Kona, there's still more racing. So it's a very, very long season. As I said, there'll be two more PTO races. Um, yeah, so I won't be able to race, uh, unfortunately, Challenge Roth. I won't be able to race the 70.3 World Championships um, because now, now there's so much racing uh, that you can't say yes to everything and, and you need to make some tough choices. So yeah, mix it up a bit, see, uh, see how this PTO series racing goes because I really feel that that's where um, the level is being pushed because that's where a lot of the money is at, even though Ironman has clearly stepped up their game with the, with the series. Um, and yeah, but at the end of the day, all eyes on Kona, baby. And I hope I'll see you there or watching the race and we can celebrate and have a big orgy, uh, sorry, party. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it really. As you probably saw in the last video, I had a bit of a rough patch following the world champs. Um, I think mostly what made me realize is that actually what's difficult for me is when I'm not training, it's really difficult for me mentally to be 100% happy because I just like to feel, once you've tasted fitness and health, you just feel like shit when you're like, I would say a regular person or at a regular level of fitness, should I say. Um, so yeah, I clearly had a low and obviously I just achieved my dream and I felt a bit lost and I feel this next, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying training now and, and back, back, on, back on the way up. Uh, training's going well. I'm not, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not getting overly stressed about it. I feel like I've proven, proven myself now. So it's, it's actually much easier in that, in that regards. Um, so yeah, I really, I feel like now this year I'm doing it for myself, um, which yeah. I didn't. I wasn't doing it really for myself before. I was re my my purpose and my profound motivation was for for my family. Um, and now this is a new chapter for me. It's about proving to myself that I can do whatever I want to do. And at the moment, I want to win a lot of world titles and and be good on all fronts. You know, and it's not just about being good on the race course, but it's about being good on social media or or in business or in anything so just trying to become a better man basically and um yeah that's really the goal and and i and i'm enjoying waking up every morning with that goal but um yeah no stress the fitness is not too bad for january right let's go see if shen is here or if he's still not here i told him to put his best attire on so let's see what he's come with Voilà, tu vois, les Mac 5, mon pote. Hey Arthur, I need to show you something, mate. Wait until you see my new tattoo. Show me. Ready? Look at this. No way. Yeah, mate. I just love Lucy. She's incredible. Wow. What do you think? That's nice. Love it. People wanted to see titties. Titties! T'as vu son regard quand il a regardé après parce que. Parce que je le connais. C'est mal. Come on guys, great work. Come on. Yeah. <laughs>
celle-là. C'est vraiment une de mes pires photos. Je peux essayer l'autre si tu veux aussi. Euh... C'est trop bien que c'est tout fait comme ça, je peux te dire maintenant, toutes les vignettes sont faites. Mais par contre, tu sais que si tu me vires maintenant, je supprime absolument <rire> tout ce que j'ai fait. Je vais laisser Arthur expliquer parce qu'il doit travailler sur son anglais. Arthur va expliquer ça. En faisant le side call, tu veux le toucher. Badly. Badly. Poi, parce que j'ai une lack of mobility. Almost everywhere in my body. And Sam is playing with my balls. <laughs> As always. Playing with balls. That's what we do on the Laidlow train. On the Laidlow height train, we play with balls. So at the end of every day, uh, And to start most days, we generally do 45 minutes to 90 minutes sat in this position, fingers like this, and the goal is to absorb energy. So breathe in, Arthur. <laughs> and on three, we say, I will beat the Norwegian hype train. One, two, three. I will beat the Norwegian hype train. Um, nah, just kidding. It's bullshit. Fuck stretching. <laughs> Smells like victory, no? Today's session is quite an easy swim session, uh, so we'll probably do a little bit of stone work uh, just to get the technique and then uh, just really a recovery. What we're trying to do is we're in the middle, of, at the moment we're in the middle of a big week, a uh, big running week, so everything else is there to try and help him recover for the actual, or them recover for the actual uh, run sessions. Today we'll be looking at around about 5k, five, five and a half thousand meters, yeah, so a relatively shortish session for us. Times 200, pull, going on uh, 250, but holding zone two, so under 80% or 82% heart rate. Okay, max heart rate. We did a easy swim session, uh, 5k. We just did a little bit of uh, like zone one, zone two, keeping it under 80% heart rate, um, which you probably saw before. And now we're just doing some easy running and some drills. So we're doing 20 minute easy run, uh, 15, 20 minutes of drills, and then another 20 minutes. So yeah, just finished the first 20 minutes and we're gonna do some drills. Uh, yeah, basically everybody chooses his own drill and we, we do, we follow the leader. Uh, um, that's it really. Okay, so that's the day done. The filming is finishing off. Um, 
please come and subscribe uh, or we're going to share all your FTP. Can you win again? Hi!